question. I thank the panel for their uh, testimony. Uh, Mr. Kaufman, uh, in your testimony, you state the importance of the FTC recognizing trends in fraud against the elderly as the population of older Americans continues to grow. As you may know, the census estimates that the number of seniors 65 and over will surpass Americans under age 18 for the first time. Uh, actually, we're 18 years away from that, 2033. So what resources is the FTC putting toward following trends in fraud against the elderly, allocating resources to enforce against criminals targeting the elderly, and educating seniors of the risks? Yeah, it, it's a, a very important priority area for us. Our, our Consumer Sentinel database, which has millions of complaints, is an incredibly important tool for us. It's self-reported information that we get at the FTC, as well as other law enforcement agencies, the BBBs. They all share information, put it into this database, and we're very frequently analyzing it, looking for trends and looking for developments. Um, we're also continuing to do more law enforcement and more outreach. Um, it's, it's a very important priority to our, for us. Very good, and I, I want to commend you. Uh, I've had several uh, senior seminars in my area in Central Florida, and you've participated. Uh, the FTC has, and they've done a wonderful job. Uh, is there, and, and, and maybe this question also is for Mr. Harris, uh, is there a, a line, maybe an anonymous line, where someone, uh, a friend of a loved one, uh, who is having trouble, an elderly person is having trouble or maybe have, has been uh, taken advantage of uh, where a, a person can call and, and report an incident? Uh, we collect complaints at ftc.gov slash complaints and we also have a uh, toll-free number, it's one eight seven seven ftc help Very good. Sir, uh, is there a number, uh, I, I know that you do a wonderful job, but uh, most seniors do not qualify for your services. Uh, do you refer some seniors to other programs where uh, they can be helped? And also, is there an anonymous line or, or maybe a 211? We have 211 in Florida uh, where uh, a person can call and uh, be made aware of some of these services. But specifically, is there an anonymous line where maybe uh, a friend of a loved one who is having difficulty uh, can, can share those concerns uh, with, with your particular program? Well, with, with my office, you can call our office directly at 312-603-0800, um, and we would refer you to either an Adult Protective Services uh, agency that's monitored by either the state of Illinois or the city of Chicago, or you can call 311, uh, um, quite frankly, in, in Chicago and, and get help in that way as well. What are the ways that uh, you gather information uh, with regard to maybe candidates that, that, that need your services? We talk to their medical providers, doctors. Uh, we also um, have some power, investigatory power, to look at uh, previous reports of, of adult uh, abuse or exploitation of some of our wards. We also have some access to financial records vis-a-vis um, -vis an in investigatory uh, um, process if we, if we open it for an intake. Uh, we use subpoena power once we have a case that's opened and, uh, um, and other uh, legal tools like depositions and other discovery tools. Very good. Thank you, and I'll, uh, I'll follow the trend and, and yield back my time. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.